What is the industry like, the film industry there? I know, I mean, there's, I know from a training perspective, there's one yeah. major school. Yeah, right? NIDA, the National Institute, National Institute of Dramatic Arts, and that's where your Judy Davises, your Kate Blanchett's, Mel Gibson all, mm -hmm. all actually came from. And that's, you know, if you get into that school, yeah, that you pretty well sure of a great career. Mm. Uh, the industry has gone through ebbs and flows. I mean, I mean, a lot of people don't know that the very first feature film was made in Australia in 1906, the story of the Kelly Gang. First feature film in the world was actually mm. made in Australia. And they had a very viable film industry back in the early days. Then it got killed and then sort of, you know, then we got absorbed into, I guess there was a lot of American films coming in. In the 70s, what was called the new wave came along. And this really was inspired by government funding, government support of the arts, which right. probably doesn't happen a lot here, but we had a- Not a, nearly as much as, no, as it should. No, and really, you can really, <laughs> that was really the reason that whole new wave of cinema started in the 70s, where people like Peter Weir and Bruce Beresford, Gillian Armstrong got their start, because there was suddenly this focus on arts, they got these great funding and tax breaks and all these amazing movies were made. And, uh, you know, things like Picnic at Hanging Rock, Gallipoli, all these great films were made in that era. Lately, you know, it, it has been a struggle. I know we have Screen Australia, which does fund a lot of films. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are coming over here. Like I know I, John Hillcote, great director that did The Proposition and The Road, mm -hmm. has just made a film called Lawless that will be out this year. Uh, that a lot of them are coming here now and making movies, but we still have good films coming out of Australia. Right. It's just, it's not as big as it once was, but it's kind of, I mean, there's been big successes. There was this movie about a dog called Red Dog that was one of the, our biggest successes over there. Australian cinema is also getting a little bit darker, I think. I think we mm. went through this whole, there was that thing of Muriel's wedding and the fun, a strictly ballroom. I, I guess like a culture, it goes through different things. There was also great historical films that we had, The Man right. from Snowy River. Now we're looking more, I think, at the underbelly of Australian society. You probably remember Animal Kingdom, which has right. really propelled Jackie Weaver's career here. And there's lots of more of those gritty films now coming out of Australia. I mean, still some fun things like Red Dog, but you, and there's another film coming up called The Sapphires, which is about, which is kind of, which was shown, just shown a can and will be released here. And it's basically the Aboriginal dream, dream girls. <laughs> so <laughs> that's going to be a really good one to look out for. So we still get the quirky and we also get the really kind of dark, dark sides now, I think as well. And, and do you think, is that just evolution, you think, or is that I think it's cultural evolution because mm -hmm. I think, you know, with films, you know, when you're starting, you look at your own stories. I yeah. think that was a lot of what happened in the 70s and that you, we were looking at our own stories. And then I think we just had the quirky kind of Aussie culture of the, you know, there was a great film called The Castle, which was mm -hmm. which was Eric Banner's start. If you ever have a chance to see that, it's but, hilarious. But, you know, isn't it, that's a little bit, even in the, in the States, sort yeah. of what happened, right? Yeah. You, you had, you know, from theater, where the theater started yeah. getting a little gritty, but then the, the movies were really an escape. Yeah. And the movies went to a place where you had these great love stories yeah. and romantic films, and it was really beautiful, and stylized though. Yeah, um, exactly. And then began to move, I mean, which corresponded a lot with the method rise. Yeah. You know, co started corresponding with more of a, you know, naturalistic, but grittier, uh, more humanistic yeah. uh, films. And I think, but it took a, a whole effort, it took writers, it took actors exactly. who could handle that kind of material, directors who wanted to tell that story, took a lot of people. Yeah, and I think also you've got to remember that we're a much newer country than you are. Mm. And most of our migration happened in the 50s, so that whole cultural melting pot of, you know, uh, Italians, Greeks, you know, all the European migration we have, now we have a lot of Asian migration. I think, you know, those purely Anglo-Saxon Aussie stories yeah. are now becoming different as well. It's not just, we're not just telling that story anymore, right. you know? And I think that's the other thing that's changed because as these, you know, immigrants have had kids and they've now moved into filmmaking and acting and that, right. they've got different stories to tell.